Okay, guys, we're going to continue on with our three phase transformers. What we're going to do now, though, is uh, change up the load a little bit. This particular question comes from unit four, handout 4A, and it's page one. Okay, and you'll notice that this particular handout doesn't have any answers with it. That's because, you know, if we were learning in class, I would actually be doing these on the board with you guys. Okay, all three of them. I'm going to do two of them, and uh, we'll see if we can leave, uh, put one per video. Okay, so this should be two videos, uh, questions one and two. So it's no big deal, guys. We still have a transformer. Looks like it's three to one. Looks like it's delta, delta. And we have a Y-connected load. And notice that the load is unknown, okay? That means that there's some kind of weird load here, but it shows that it has a power factor of 0.7 and it's 3,000 VA. We'll worry about that in a second, okay, guys? Because the first thing we're going to see if we can calculate is the, you know, voltage all the way to the load. That's always going to be your goal, guys, is to work the voltage, you know, right through the circuit from one end to the other. Once we're at the load, we'll figure out what we're going to do over there, okay? So it looks like the primary line voltage, guys, is 900 volts. Question A here, E phase primary. Okay, so this is delta, right, guys? So with delta, E line is equal to E phase. So this guy is going to be 900 volts, okay? Then we're going to go across the transformer from phase to phase at a ratio of 3 to 1. So E phase secondary should be the 900 divided by the ratio, right guys? And that's going to be 300 volts. And that would be here, right? Okay, E line secondary, which would be measured from line to line here, guys. And it's delta, so also 300 volts. Okay, and now our load is Y. And since we have 300 from here to here, you know, the question is, what is the voltage across one of these loads? And it's going to split that 300 volts. So this is going to be 300 divided by root 3. And we'll calculate that. 300 divided by root 3 equals, looks like it's 173.2 volts, okay? And that's E phase load. It's right there. 173.2 volts okay guys now it's asking for I phase load now if I have given you a you know an impedance here we could calculate it using Ohm's law I didn't give you an impedance here I gave you a VA but that's okay I can still calculate it because we know that uh, VA is equal to E you know times I Right, it's going to be the voltage dropping across the load times the current through the load, and so if I want to calculate I, it should be V over E, right, guys? And uh, the VA is uh, three thousand, okay, and the voltage is one hundred seventy-three point two. So let's see if we, if we can figure that out. Okay, three thousand divided by one seventy-three point two. And it's uh, 17.32. Okay, so no big deal, guys. Uh, a little bit different. It's a unknown power load there, but we're going to use a power, fa a power formula to calculate it. And that's what we did right there. Now it's just a matter of bringing that current back. So I'll switch to a different pen just for fun here. And... Uh, We'll see if we can bring that current back. So that 17, guys, is the, it's right there, right? 17.32 amps. And next one is I line secondary. And uh, we're gonna look, you know, even though it says I line secondary, we're gonna look at the load to see if we can figure that out. I line secondary would be right here. And it's gonna be all 17 of that amps. So this is gonna be 17.32 amps, okay? And then we're going to do I phase secondary, which would be right here. Now that 17 amps, it's going to split there. So I phase secondary is going to be less than 17. So it's going to be 17 divided by root 3. Looks like it's 10 amps. Okay, so that would be 10 amps right there. Now we're going to go across the transformer. 
at a ratio of 3 to 1. So this is going to be 10 divided by the ratio. Looks like that's 3.333. Okay, amps. That would be right here, right guys? 3.333 amps. Okay guys? Last one, I line primary. It's going to be right there. Now that current is going to feed that 3.3 and that 3.3. So I must have to multiply. Okay, guys. So I'm going to multiply that by root 3. You know, and this, you know, you'll get better at this, okay? Because at first... Um, you know, it's you got to go slow and figure out all your root threes. At some point, though, you're going to have to start getting like pretty fast at it, right? Where you're getting it right on the first try every single time. Okay, like I'm talking about the root threes, whether you divide, multiply, or leave it the same. Okay, guys, so we've got our, our current calculated here. Now, notice you're asking about the transformer KVA. And uh, this is going to get calculated, you know, you can calculate it at the primary and the secondary. We're going to calculate it at the primary, at the secondary, and at the load because they should all be the same. And we're going to do it, you know, the, exactly the same way that I showed you last time. In other words, the VA on the primary side, whoops, should be E-line primary, 900, times I-line pri primary, which we just calculated, 5.773 times root 3. Okay, guys. Then we're going to calculate the VA at the secondary. It's going to be the secondary line voltage, so E line secondary, very carefully. Okay, guys, because you don't want to be doing the check and then using the wrong numbers. And it's really easy to do. Okay, so you've got to be very careful when you're doing this check that you're actually using you know the right values in there okay so i line secondary times oops e line secondary times i line secondary 17 0.32 times root 3 okay and we're going to calculate the va at the load using the phase values so e phase load 173.2 times i phase load 17.32 times three, since we're using phase values, and I'm gonna make all three of those calculations right now, starting with the top one. 900 times 5.773 times root three equals. Looks like it's basically 9,000, okay? 8999 volt amps. We'll check this one, 300 times 17.32 times root 3 equals, yep, this one's 9,000 volt amps, okay, last one, 173.2 times 17.32 times 3, 8999, okay, 8999 volt amps all right so i am like super com comfortable guys that uh, i did not mess any of my voltages and currents up in here okay and so that's the answer to j right there now i want you to notice that it's 9000 va i also want you to notice that this load is 3000 va and uh you know 3000 3000 3000 that adds up to 9000 okay so that's another way you could check it I mean, uh, we calculated it right here, 9,000, using the voltage in the current, right? But, I mean, it's those 3,000, that's what's determining the volt amps of this entire circuit, those 3,000 VA lows, and there are three of them, which adds up to 9,000, okay? So it works in every way. All right, guys? Now this one, input kilowatts. It wants to know how many kilowatts are going into this circuit. Well, the transformer doesn't change the power, it changes the voltage in the current, so if I could figure out the output kilowatts, I could probably figure out the input kilowatts because they will be the same. Now, how are we going to figure out the output kilowatts? Well, according to this, this thing is 3000 VA and the power factor is 0.7. That means that the power phasor diagram for that little load, and I'm going to draw it 
right here, okay, because there's some room. All right, the power phasor diagram for that little load looks like this. There's the 0.7 power factor. There's the 3000 VA, okay, and there's a certain amount of power and there's a certain amount of VARS, obviously, okay, so there obviously is an inductor in there of some kind. We don't know, like, you know, we don't know much about that load, but it must have some reactive power. Now, we can calculate the power for that guy. It's going to be 3,000 times the power factor, right? Because the power is always the VA times the power factor. So let's do that. 3,000 times 0.7. Okay. It looks like it's 2,100. Okay. And we could calculate the VARS too. It doesn't ask for it. But we could calculate it, right? We know how and we could do it. Now, that is not the input kilowatts because that is the you know, true power for this load. And there are three of them. And so if I wanted to know what the ki input kilowatts are, I could, you know, multiply that by three. So it would be 2100 times three, because there are three, you know, just like it was 3000 VA times three, which is why we got 9000 here. So if I take my 2100 and multiply that by three, I get 6300 watts. Okay, and that is the answer to K. Now, and that is the power phasor diagram for that particular load. But this particular circuit has two power phasor diagrams because this is the power phasor diagram for this little guy, okay? But there is a power phasor diagram for this entire load, and it looks like this. We're going to do it down here. I hope I didn't have that all cut off, did I? Probably. All right, so... This is like one load, guys. Okay, of three. And this is the whole load. Okay, and it would look like this. I would have a certain amount of power, a certain amount of VARs, and a certain oh, VA and VARs, right? And here's my true power, and here's my VA. And we know that the VA for the entire load is 9,000, okay? Because it's 3,000 times 3. And, we, and uh, we know that the power factor is 0.7. And if I take my 9,000 and multiply it by 0.7, guess what, guys? It's 6,300 watts. And again, we could calculate the VARs of the entire three-phase load as well. So what I'm trying to show you here, guys, is that, you know, it is a legitimate thing to do to draw a power phasor diagram of one of the three loads that is in this three-phase circuit. But it is also legitimate to draw an entire power phasor diagram for the entire load, okay? And those are both things that you can do. And sometimes you'll have to do one and sometimes you'll have to do the other, okay? And when we get into more into power, we'll, we'll get into it some more, okay, guys? And, you know, I hope you guys are doing your homework. All right, guys, don't, don't be just listening to these videos and then like hoping that it's going to be all right on the test. All right, guys, so make sure you do your homework, but we're going to have one more video. It's going to be unit four, handout uh, 4A, and it's going to be the question on the next page, which is uh, page two. Okay, guys, and come back for that.